Hey y'all, turkey season is officially over, as you just saw, still watching some birds out in the field. Uh, that was a really nice three-year-old that was strutting out there. Also got some jakes and hens, hens are nesting. But them hanging out in that field brought me to some information and a thought process of this. Everywhere I look on the news these days is this cicada situation. I say that jokingly, but it is, we've heard it over and over. Cicadas emerge, cicadas emerge. Well, back when, till I was about 30 years old, I didn't know what a cicada was. Uh, we called them July flies. That's all we ever knew them as. All right, big bug, about like that. We used to pick them off trees as kids, the shells. You always thought that was cool. I actually looked for some shells yesterday, couldn't find any. Part of that is because they hadn't hatched out here yet. Now, every 13, every 17 years, you have periodic groups of these cicadas that hatch out. Okay, in and of itself, it's pretty cool. You get to watch them fly. But there was two benefits to turkeys that I didn't even think about. And I was looking through some news feeds. I kind of have time now. But looking through some news feeds, and I found two nice benefits for turkeys. The first one, everybody knows or should know, insects this time of year make up about 80% of a turkey's diet. All right, so when those cicadas emerge, they're like me, a little fat, a little lethargic, easy pickings for a turkey. Right now, this crew in the field, they're working on grasshoppers and especially grasshoppers this time of year. But when these cicadas come out, hey, that's that big. That's a nice caloric treat. That's like going and getting, you've been eating round steak and somebody cuts you a nice ribeye. All right, so that helps. They've shown, research has shown, that every year on a 13-year and a 17-year cycle, there's actually a jump in the turkey population on these cicada emergence years. That's pretty cool. So we got that going. So even though we know we got a turkey decline going on, every year there's been a slight uptick. Now, the first reason for that, we just said, it gives turkeys a nice big calorie bump. Hens who are tending poults and whatnot, gives them a nice big bump. Turkeys will eat anything. Uh, if you've ever, whenever you shoot a turkey, I always cut the crop and see what the guy's been eating. And if it's late season like this, it's always insects. Early season, you might find acorns, you might find nutgrass, you might find chufa, you might find maple leaves, which is a good thing. Maple seeds are good. When those maple seeds are dropping, hunt them because the bird's going to be on them. Uh, but back to this cicada situation. First benefit, it feeds the turkeys. That's a big smorgasbord. The second benefit, which I didn't think about, they're not the only ones who eat the cicadas. Uh, I remember years ago I was bush hogging, and as I was bush hogging, you're cutting narrower and narrower strips on this old red tractor, which is now back in business. I'm going to show you at the end of the video. But as the strips got more narrow, this coyote comes out of the woods and starts going down the rows. And I was like, what in the world is he doing? Well, he was eating grasshoppers. Every little bug that came up, he ate, didn't pay the tractor any mind. I didn't have a gun. But that's, that's what it was. But everybody eats them. That's the second big benefit of this cicada hatch. Predators. It's a big distraction for them. If a coyote, a coon, a possum, if they're eating one of those big cicadas, that takes them off a little poke. Anytime you distract me, it's like me going to a Mexican restaurant. All right, I go in with the thought that I'm going to get the burrito. Instead, I fill up on chips. And by the time the burrito comes, I can only eat about half of it. All right. That said, those cicadas, that's coyote chips. That's possum chips. They fill up on those. They're not eating as many turkeys. And that's a bonus. So this year, when we hear that loud buzzing, and they've yet to emerge here. If they have, I hadn't seen them or heard them. All right. But when we hear that loud buzzing in the trees, you know the one starts low and goes up and down. When we hear those in the trees, instead of thinking, boy, that's a loud, annoying noise, think, hey, feeding turkeys and feeding predators. Win-win. All right, 
back to red. Just finished old red off with putting the fuel injector back on and uh, went through a couple of good mechanics and one very sorry mechanic. But at the end of it, I did just want to show you this and I'm going to end on this. Hey, like our channel, subscribe. We've been getting good flow. Appreciate it. Keep it up. We'll try to keep decent videos coming your way. Maybe some things you hadn't thought about with habitat management. Uh, like this cicada situation. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to end with old red. Check this out. I'll turn you around so you can see it. All right.